For today's video, we will be talking about vinyl chloride and when to use it. So when doing an irregular SN2 reaction, we would have this and we would have a reagent of this. And inversion would happen where you go from a wedge to a dash or a dash to a wedge. In this case, we're going from a wedge to a dash. And so this is what happened. This is a one-step mechanism where the SN goes and attack from the backside of uh, the OH and it kicks off the OH. And so we would get this product. Now what if what happens if we would have to start this, but we ended up having a wedge? So in this case, if for an SN2 reaction, right, SN2 reaction inversion happened. When we have this product, inversion happened twice. This is where we use, uh, okay, NaCN also, but this is where we use the final chloride. So final chloride is SOCl2. So final chloride is used for the double inversion, but also is used because OH is a bad leaving group. So we have to use it to make it a better leaving group. So in this case, when having our first problem, let's do it this. Let's have OH and let's react it with our reagent, which was SOCl2 and then let's say with NaCl. And so the first things first, make this OH a better leaving group. We take on final chlorine's form. Oxygen has two lone pairs, while well, these chlorines have three lone pairs. OH comes in and goes and attacks on the sulfur. While does this electron between sulfur and oxygen goes to oxygen, and so we would have a product that would look like this. OH is now it has one lone pair with one a positive charge. We have sulfur here, we have the two chlorines on the side, and we have oxygen with three lone pairs with a negative charge. In this step, we have that we need to kick off a chlorine in here to make it to come back and attack on the structure. So in this case, one of lone pairs of oxygen goes and forms a double bond between sulfur. This will allow to kick off one of the chlorines and we'll have a structure that will look like this. This OH still has one lone pair with a positive charge. We have sulfur in here. Chlorine, other chlorine here, and we have a double bond. This is oxygen. Let me draw that better. Okay, there you go. Double bond. Chlorine. Now, in this case, the chlorine is on this side over here. It got kicked off of the structure negative charge. This chlorine comes and does an SN2 attack. It acts as the nucleophile. It attacks from the backside. While it does this, it kicks off the whole structure of the final chloride and the OH. This will give us a reaction of inversion happens. So now the chlorine has a dash because the OH had a wedge before. Chlorine has three lone pairs. Now we're done with the first reagent. We have done this final chloride. Now let's use our second reagent, which is the NaCN. So sodium is the spectator ion. We have a negative charge here. One of the lone pairs goes and does a backside attack on that chlorine. While it does this, it makes the leaving group leave as well. So, so one step mechanism for this and then we have our final product going back inversion happened again we have a wedge now with cn and so this is our final answer for this problem only one product because it's inversion let's do another problem if we have this structure we start with a wedge
Now this is reacting with the same reagents we have been using. Let's say SOCl2, final chloride, and let's say NABR. Right, the first steps first, we bring in the final chloride to make this leaving group better, the OH. Now, OH is oxygen. We'll go from the lone pair to attack that sulfur. This will make the oxygen form a negative charge. And so we would have a structure that would look like this. OH, now this has a positive charge. We have the sulfur coming in. Two chlorines. And the oxygen has a negative charge. Now, in this case, we must have the chlorine kicked off to, have to come back and attack the structure. So, in this case, oxygen lone pairs goes and forms a double bond here. This will kick off the lone, the uh, leaving group, the chlorine. And so, we would have a structure that would look like this. OH. Sulfur, chlorine, and then the oxygen has a double bond. Now, in this case, we have chlorine on the side, so plus chlorine. Negative charge. It comes back and attacks from the back side because this is an SN2 reaction. While it does this, it kicks off the whole final OH uh, product from here. And so we would have a product that would look like this. Now how to wedge, you have a dash now. We have used the final chloride in our reactant reagent. Now let's use the NABR. So Na plus Br with the negative charge, four lone pairs. It comes and attacks from the backside of the chlorine, it kicks off the leaving group. And so we would have our final product that would look like this. Now back with a wedge. So double inversion has happened, and this is our final product. Only one product because this is SN2. Let's do another problem if we have this structure right here. And let's say we have an OH that it has a dash on it. it. Has two lone pairs, so it has a dash. So we must the product must be a dash. So now let's react this with final chloride. SOCl2, and let's say we have our nucleophile as NaSH, very strong nucleophile. In this case, final chloride will come. Okay, the oxygen has two lone pairs, has three lone pairs, one is chlorine, both chlorine. Oxygen lone pair will go and attack this sulfur. The sulfur electron between the bond between oxygen goes to oxygen to form a negative charge. And so we'll have a product that would look like this so far. OH now has a one lone pair with a positive charge. Sulfur comes here. We have one bond with this oxygen, has three lone pairs. Negative charge. We have the chlorine here. This chlorine comes over here. Now one of oxygen lone pair goes and forms a bond with sulfur, a double bond. This now the chlorine gets kicked off when we do this. And we would have a structure that would look like this. Bottom here. Positive charge. This comes here with the chlorine uh, S. Chlorine on the left side still here. We have a double bond with oxygen again. Now in this step, chlorine is on the solution still in here. In the solution, it has four lone pairs with the negative charge. It comes back and attacks from the back side 
where the OH is at. This OH can leave now. It leaves, which will give us a reaction that will look like this. We have chlorine now on a, da a wedge inversion has taken place. Now one more thing for this reaction to be done is that we must react it with our NaSH positive charge. Three more pairs on this negative charge. One of his electrons go and attack from the backside, making the chlorine leave. The leaving group leaves, and so we get our final product that will look like this. Now back on that dash, inversion has happened again. SH. And so this is our final product for this problem. And this was about final chloride, essential reaction for having OH as a bad leaving group.